guys welcome to main street mowers youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in with us today is an exciting day because we have gotten toro's newest time cutters and new titan series we teamed up with toro and they hooked us up with product before anyone else and we're pumped guys we're just super pumped i can't wait to show you i can't wait to give you the ins and outs the feels the don'ts the do's all the nitty gritty little details the toro time cutter the new titan in the building come on Check it out. Guys, so this saga started months ago. Years ago, I'm sure they've been designing and redesigning. But a few months ago, <clears throat> we heard whispers of an all new Time Cutter series, all new Titan series, that they were changing things, flipping things. We were nervous, like afraid a little bit. Like, what are they gonna change? The Time Cutter is such a good machine. It holds up so well, it's perfectly priced. It just works good. And then I got to see them. A few weeks ago I got to go to San Diego for the Toro uh, National Dealer Conference and they unveiled the new Time Cutter lineup and the new Titan lineup and we got to see them, we got to touch them, we got to hear from the engineers, we got to hear the whys behind what they did. You get to hang out with the engineers, you get to sit down and have lunch with the Time Cutter engineers and you get to talk to them, you get to tell them, hey this is the problems we're seeing, hey these are the things that are going on and they listen and they take care and they take pride in their product. And they compete against each other. The grandstand guys brag and, and talk about their product against the time cutter guys. And the time cutters talk about the Z Master guys. And they're all helping each other. And they're this really amazing team of engineers. And they're so cool to hang out with. And that's something that is just amazing about the Toro product is that when you buy a time cutter, you're not getting some cheap Chinese product that they had some other engineers design. The same guys who sit shoulder to shoulder with the Z Master product, that heritage of engineering. They're sitting right there. They're rivals in a way, but they're teams in a way. And they work together. They share each other's secrets, what makes them good, what makes what to avoid. And that's why the Time Cutter product is such a fantastic product and why I stand behind it as a dealer. It's just a great machine. Well, the new Time Cutter is all that stuff is so true, and they embodied it and put it into this machine. And Toro, they don't mess around, y'all. They don't engineer things to make things cheaper. They engineer them to make them better. And that is something I absolutely love about the Toro company, that their engineers deeply care about their products. So when they came to us and asked if we would want to partner with them, because they've seen our YouTube channel before, if we'd want to partner with them and make them some videos on the newest time, time cutters and titans, and just give our opinions on what we think about them and kind of show some of the new features, we were pumped because, guys, I love this company. They do a great job, and I was honored that they would send us product early and let us do this. So, Thank you, Toro, for trusting us with this new stuff and for letting us make these videos for you and partnering with you. Because I couldn't be more excited to show my viewers the newest and greatest that Toro has to offer, and you've made that possible. So guys, what is new? What have they done? What is the, what is the deal? Why did they change it? The old time cutters were great. They worked perfect. I've never had a problem. But there were some things that you kind of just lived with, and Toro has made those problems go away. Things like the deck, you used to be able to, you couldn't step on the deck. They have a whole new deck hanger system now that you can even stand on this deck and it's not gonna clunk, 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 do anything weird like that. They've changed the way the MyRide suspension is. It just isolates the operator, keeps your deck level. It's just a very simple and beautiful design, has a coil over shock in the front and dual shocks in the back or springs in the back. Look. You can adjust your suspension. Uh, they made just little things easier, like the choke cable works better. You could tell the return spring on it just sucks your choke right back in. That's beautiful. The way the levers all feel is a little different. They've added pro-grade dampeners to your steering levers. This thing feels like a commercial machine. When you're driving it, the way the hydraulics feel, they don't feel 
like you say, there's no jerkiness, there's no like kind of stutter or, uh, or shakiness to them. It's, everything is creamy as cream corn. Cream corn. That's why they call me that. Smooth. Forks. The whole frame assembly for the fork is now cast aluminum. They did that so they could put different size forks in the same frame to use this common frame between all the new models. And I like the look. I like the, the raw aluminum. It's pretty neat. And if you ever had to replace one, it's just two bolts. Pretty easy. Um, so if you ever messed your bearings up or something in your front fork, you just put a new part of your frame on. That's nice. Oh, also, the time cutter has easy to remove uh, belt covers. Come on, we've been wanting that, right? Had to use that little tiny nut or screws, those were annoying. Now it's just push a button, pull off the cover, put a new one on there. So hosing off your deck, cleaning off this machine, blowing everything out, it's going to help you maintain this machine and keep it nicer, longer, which is going to be really nice. Guys, I just want to take a second to tell you about the new look of the Titan Cutter. They've redesigned the way the, the fuel tank looks and the all black wheels, the exposed raw aluminum. This thing looks mean, looks awesome. Like in person, it looks so good. It just makes, makes me excited. It looks like cool. You have a new sight glass right here. You can see your fuel from the front, which is nice. Um, just the way they trimmed out the, the fender, the wheel well, so you don't get sprayed with water. That's really nice. All black wheels. Beautiful. They just went with slightly bigger tires on some of the models, which is really nice. There's just such little nice attentions to detail that make this look like a whole new machine, makes it feel new. They've lowered the front just so you could step through it a little easier. And on some models, it's really easy. On the Titan Cutter, look at this. Woo! Come on! So, they've really done their homework. They've done a great job. Lots of little things about this feel right. The suspension actually has some slightly more travel than it did before. I'm excited to ride it. The way the deck is all hung, this looks so much more beefier. There's a lot more points of contact, it feels like. They're just a great looking machine. I'm so excited to test them. We're going to go ride these mowers. We're going to go put them in grass. I'm going to hit bumps. I'm going to go over stuff. I'm going to go fast, I'm going to go slow, I'm going to give it the, the real chip shakedown for shizzle. I'm so excited. Let's go ride this thing. Guys, we made it. We finally got to test this thing out. I got to mow about two acres with it. We're in Central Florida. I just mowed some mixed St. Augustine with some random weeds. Uh, there was some pine straw on the ground. There was loose dirt. There was lots of mole holes, bumps, tons of roots. I think I really got to get a good feel of this time cutter, and I was truly impressed. I love the suspension platform. I love the way it feels like it's just soaking up all that stuff for you. And it really worked well. So as the deck is going flat, I'm riding like this and it just worked perfectly. I was able to mow this yard way faster than without the suspension setup. I was able to go at speed over a lot of obstacles that I'd normally slow down for because you're getting shook so bad. So I liked that the suspension platform allowed me just to keep going. I didn't have to slow down and it has a low center of gravity, this new setup. I think that really helped too. Just allows for you to feel grounded and supported and at the same time you're kind of just above all the train changes. The anti-scalp wheels were being activated at some points because of the bumps and the change in variation. The cut looks phenomenal. If you look around it just looks dead level everywhere. It didn't leave any stragglers behind. The deck cut really nice. The fabricated deck did a fantastic job. I'm used to using a stamp deck and that cuts really well but I'm just absolutely amazed by how well this fabricated deck did. It did a really good job. It, the cut looks awesome. The discharge chute worked well. I was around trees a lot. I was rubbing it up against stuff and smooshing it and it, it just operated perfectly. The pro grade dampeners worked really well. I was noticing that when I would go to make a turn where often you would burn out too much, 
this is less likely to do that because of this pro grade dampener. It just slows down your turns a little bit, makes them a little creamier. Going around trees felt like really controllable. They have the different speed settings, and because these dampeners are so nice, I don't even know if you need to ever take it out of just the fast mowing mode because it's so much more controllable now. It's very smooth. You don't have any jerkiness to it. So I thought that was really nice. I feel really good. After mowing, I mowed about two acres. My body feels awesome. I'm like ready to go mow some more. Something I really liked that I didn't know that they did was that this pedal, when you push it down, in the past, it would lift up the whole deck and it would lift it up and it would stay up. Now it lifts up and it falls back down to your selected height. So I was at three and a half because I the yard needed to be at three and a half. And I would push the pedal, which would raise it up to that four and a half. And when I'd let go of the pedal, it would drop it down to three and a half. So I was using that to kind of work around some of these high and low areas and where there are stumps and things so that I wouldn't gouge or hit any kind of stump. Speaking of stumps, I did hit one big root. Hit it hard, boom! And I kind of was scared, so I got off, I shut the mower off, I looked at the deck, and I couldn't see anywhere that I hit. And I think it's because Toro's reinforced this front nose, and not only the front nose, but the whole deck, all the way around, they put this extra thick, like, bumper all the way around it. And so whatever I hit, hit that bumper, and it stopped it and protected it. But that was, I'm really glad I had that. I didn't want to have to return this mower back to Toro with a big dent deck and me trying to hammer it out without them knowing. So I'm glad that happened. Uh, and I'm glad the deck is strong and reinforced. And I, it made me feel really confident as I was going around these trees that, man, I'm good. This thing's, this thing's built really tough. The Toro engine ran perfect. Uh, I love this twin cylinder engine. It is powerful. It runs well. It's quiet. It's smooth. It's reliable. It cranks right up. I, I think that's a fantastic engine. I love that Toro's been making that. I want to see it on more products. I want to see it on a grandstand. I want to see it on all kinds of stuff. I would love for that to be a bolt-on, some kind of kit for all kinds of scenarios because that engine is just cherry. The Toro My Ride Time Cutter has been fantastic. I have loved it. It mows quickly. I'm able to mow at full speed, baby, without ever slowing down. Those bumps don't stop me. The suspension worked perfect. The 50-inch deck worked perfect for this yard. I had lots of trees and obstacles. I had a lot of dips and whirves and all kinds of stuff. And the anti-scalp wheels were being engaged at times. It worked perfect. I truly do love this mower. It worked very well. I've never uh, mowed that much with a fab deck. It cuts great. The lawn looks like it's been cut with a laser. It is just absolutely flat looks beautiful. I am so excited for people to be out in the field using this mower because I know they're going to love it. I can't wait to see somebody I sell this mower to in Publix. I'm going to say, how's your time cutter? And they're going to say, it's the best. And I'm going to say, yeah, I told you it is. Because that is seriously the kind of expressions and feelings people are going to have towards this mower. It feels nice. It runs smooth. The engine's good. It just feels like it has some deep heritage and some Toro country. They brought back this new essence of like strength. And I, I think this mower embodies that. And it is an awesome mower. The engineering on it, they did a great job. Guys, thank you for doing a great job. Because I like being a Toro dealer with great products behind me. So I have something good to sell to my people. So thank you, Toro. And that concludes our beautiful review of the new Toro My Ride. Man, I'm just like in la la land thinking about the last 30 minutes of mowing. It was beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to get one of these one day and message this video and say thank you for the recommendation. That thing rocks, because it does. Guys, if you like this video at all, please press the like button. It means a lot to us, helps this video go further. And if you like this video, if you like watching us, if you like seeing new products and, and learning what's going on in the lawn industry, please subscribe. We're going to be dedicated to making great videos for you, uh, and you'll see more in the future. Please check out some of our old videos uh, that are just going to be just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Come on.